Mejia and welcome to this episode of Time Out for Your Health. Today our spotlight will be on childhood obesity. Obesity in our youth and our children is growing at alarming rates. In fact, in Ward 8 in the District of Columbia, they have the highest rate of childhood obesity in the United States. So let's join Larry Michael and former Health and Human Services Secretary and Governor of Wisconsin, Tommy Thompson, as they discuss this important topic. Governor, we hear so much about childhood obesity in America. Now, what percentage of the kids in the U.S. are considered obese? Approximately 15% of the children nationally are obese. But it's even more dramatic right here in the greater Washington, D.C. region, where 22.8% of the children are obese. Governor, I have some stats for you, and I want your reaction to these, if you would. In 1990, zero. None of our states had 20% or more of their population considered obese. Now, in 2007, 49 of the 50 states had at least 20% of their population considered obese, and 30 of those states have over 25% of their population considered obese. That's not a good trend. You've identified the problem of health care in America because children that are obese usually leads to adults being over, overweight or obese, which leads to chronic illnesses, which leads to 75% of the cost of health care going to try and, and solve the problems of people with chronic illnesses. Now, Governor, having said that, what are the long-term impacts of these trends? You know, uh, diabetes is a huge one, and that is growing so rapidly in America. And this, of course, is caught by individuals that are over, overweight or obese. So Governor, what can we do to reverse these trends? It's really common sense. Eating properly, eating fruits and vegetables, and exercising. And if we do that, we can really change this around dramatically, hold down on healthcare dollars, and also be able to reduce chronic illnesses in America. Governor Thompson, it was a pleasure having you on the show. It's my honor. Thank you very much for having me. Now that we've identified some of the trends and the long-term impact of childhood obesity, let's focus on some of the community efforts that have been going on to help solve this problem. I recently spent some time with Clark Ray of the DC Parks and Recreation to see how they're partnering with American Heart Association and the Washington Redskins to help curb childhood obesity. Now, what can you tell us about the American Heart Association's Recess by the River program? Well, the focus has been on uh, showing the kids in D.C. in Ward 7 and 8 uh, how important it is to uh, get exercise, to eat healthy, and have fun while doing so. Kids in D.C., uh, as we all know, obesity is a problem. They're overweight, especially in uh, Ward 8 and Ward 7, there is a particular problem. Right. It sounds like a great program that combines both fun and fitness, which is important. So what exactly does the Recess by the River program entail? Well, the kids have been asked to participate in regular exercise and have been given a, a health passport that will track their uh, participation in the program. So when they come into our rec centers in Ward 7 and 8, they get a little sticker. It's uh, put down and uh, we track their progress and their participation throughout the year. Clark, how do you plan to keep the children involved over time so fitness is a part of their daily lives going forward? Well, thanks to two of our partners, the Washington Redskins and GlaxoSmithKline, the children who have the highest individual participation rates in the program over the course of the upcoming months will have the chance to attend a Redskins uh, game. It's a way of showing and to recognize their hard work and a commitment to living a healthier lifestyle. Clark, we've seen that prevention of obesity can be fun and healthy. Exercise and a proper diet are two things that both children and adults can start doing today. Thanks for watching this episode of Time Out for Your Health. We hope you see how easy it is to take steps to leading a healthier life. GlaxoSmithKline and the Washington Redskins are partnering in the D.C. area on these health and wellness initiatives and are pleased to bring you this episode of Time Out for Your Health. I'm Rebecca Mejia and thanks for watching. We hope the information you saw and heard today on Time Out for Your Health was helpful and demonstrates there are ways for each and every one of us to take control of our health. For more information on health and wellness, as well as the impact of chronic disease on each and every one of us, please go to forahealthieramerica.com. We look forward to having you tune in for future features. Until next time, make sure you take time out for your health.